Hi, Earth Angels. This is Jill Kempner, Angel Professional. Happy full moon, the final full moon of 2020. I'm so excited to share this angel card reading with you. If you are new to my work, I served as a massage therapist and a yoga teacher for 20 years before evolving into this work I do today as an angel professional. As an angel professional, what I help you do is relax your body and mind, release those issues in the tissues like stress, tension, anger, pain, fear, or trauma, so that you can receive more love from your angels. And I'm all about helping you heal your body with the love of your angels, with the love of the divine. And um, <clears throat> I just wrote my blog, blog number 28, and it's actually a part two of a four part series. So it's it's um, the shadow of being an earth angel part two. And, and basically what I was doing was taking kind of the qualities of an earth angel and, and, and talking about the shadow side of that quality so that we can find that, that balance of light and dark within us. And you know, this, this full, and, and so if you um, are not receiving my newsletter, you can go to my website, jillkempnerhealing.com and, and sign up for my newsletter so you can get my blog. I also record my blogs, which is kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> I actually enjoy <laughs> listening back to them and, and hearing the wisdom from the angels in that way. So you can read the blog on my website or you can listen to the recording from my newsletter. It's also, they're on SoundCloud. And then I'm also going to be, um, you know, having these, these full moon readings, a new moon in the full moon readings, angel card readings on my newsletter, as well as a, a lot of other wonderful energy and information. So um, I would love for you to um, sign up. Um, what else were the angels saying? So <clears throat> this full moon is like so interesting. It's been a very interesting full moon. It's not that I forgot that it was a full moon, but I just feel like with the holidays, there's so many kind of layers coming up. I feel like a lot of things are up right now. These, these patterns that the angels and, and that your soul is saying is like, okay, let's Let's tie up this loose end. Let's let's really release this karma. Let's really unburden this part. So I feel like there's a lot of that kind of being illuminated right now, right? Because full moons for earth angels is like our intuition is, is magnified, right? It's sometimes it's magnified like a thousand fold. And what's, what I've noticed and what's interesting is Sometimes that our strongest channel will be more magnified. But as an earth angel, one of our goals is to actually open all five of our clairs, of our clairs, so that we're receiving the messages in, in what their angels are saying is kind of in a more, more of a gentle way, more of a, a nourishing way. So thank you for that. And these full moons are, are really a time of celebration. And especially this time of year, it's so important to celebrate all of the blessings, all of the gifts um, that have occurred, you know, not only from, from the new moon to the full moon, but really this whole entire year. So it's really a time of, of celebration. It's like that bright light in the sky is shining down on your gifts, your blessings, all of the miracles and at the same time, it's also shining on the shadow, right? Those parts of us that need healing, those parts of us that need more love. And the question that I asked for this reading, it's so awesome. I can't wait to share it with you. We actually got it all, every card for this reading fell out of the deck. They were all jumpers. <laughs> and so we got two from, from one deck because they both fell out. And I said, this has to be. <laughs> the question that I asked is, how is it that you are embracing your pain so that you can cherish your body soul connection even more during this full moon? But I'm also feeling during the full moon and as we walk through that threshold between 2020 and 2021, right? So I wore my sparkly shirt for, um, <laughs> I was like, what, what should I wear today, angels? <laughs> um, kind of like a, uh, like a New Year's Eve, you know, celebration. <laughs> Pre-New Year's Eve celebration. All right, so <clears throat> we have three decks. Um, we're going to be using the Angel Guide deck from Kyle Gray. Two, de two cards came out of this. The um, Keepers of the Light. I had to pull a keeper. It felt so important. I usually try to stay, you know, really close to the angels, but I love the Keepers of the Light by Kyle Gray. Send it masters and wait to see who we got. And then this Power of Surrender cards by Dr. Judith Orloff. So 
I'm going to give you the whole reading and then I'm going to share some insights that the angels were, were, were giving me downloads about today. So the first card in embracing your pain and cherishing your body soul connection is expect miracles. OMG. So many synchronicities for this card right now. Courage and bravery. Can't wait to talk about that. Green Tara, supreme protection. OMG, flawless protection of heaven. And here she says, you are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation. Trust. Oh, and then <laughs> talking about embracing pain, right? Instead of resisting it, embracing pain and cherishing your body soul connection, surrender to the wisdom of your body. I mean, seriously, I think there's only... I mean, there's however many cards in this deck, 50 some odd. And seriously, that's like the only card that talks about the body. There's only one or two. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, angels, thank you for these synchronicities. And again, all of these cards fell out of the deck. So expect a miracle. The first thing I heard when I saw this card is your body is a miracle. Um, you know, your body is the home of the soul. I mean, there's so many messages with expect miracles, but really, you know, um, this the practice number two in my book, relax and cherish your body. You know, again, in, in, in my blog, I talk about kind of the shadow side of this cherishing your body soul connection is really, you know, this kind of denying your body or obsessing about your body or abusing your body, which I have done all of those. So let me tell you, part of why I can write about this is I have been through all of those different kind of phases or or yeah phases and cycles of um learning how to love my body learning how to cherish my learning how to cherish my body and understand respect that it's a miracle and i know some you know it's not just a like a a term that you say oh your body is a miracle but really what the angels are saying is to to let yourself feel that let yourself marinate in the miracle that your body is and i'm hearing this so clearly you know your body you know when it gets ill or injured you know it's not a punishment and it's not it's not betraying you it's not sabotaging you when your body gets ill or injured it just needs more love your body just needs more love that's and so that's where the cherishing comes in right so specifically i actually changed this in my book um, it was relax and listen to your body. I just got this am amazing download from the angels that it was about cherishing your body, which means to really take care of. And really, part of how we take care of our, our physical body as earth angels is to tend to and, and understand your energy body. So this beautiful balance, this, this sacred relationship between your physical body, which is absolutely an amazing miracle, how all the systems of your body work together to keep you balanced and in harmony to, to I'm hearing homeostasis. And then how our energy body is such a protector, right? It helps you release, it helps you receive, it helps you, it helps you um, protect your physical body, it helps you stay connected to the divine and to the earth, which is so awesome. So what the angels are saying is so you can share more of your earth angel medicine. And that's what this full moon feels like. It's showing you, here I'm getting a download, Everything that's in the way, right? All of these parts, all of these wounds, all of this pain that's in the way of your next level of your earth angel medicine, your next level. It's like coming out of hiding, which we're going to talk about with courage and bravery. <laughs> oh yeah. One more thing about the miracle of mind. So the expected miracle, thank you angels, is about miracle mindedness. So this is about shifting from fear to love. That's all a miracle is. I mean, the miracles are amazing and we love them, right? But what is that? There's no order in miracles. There's no like big miracles and small miracles. Everything is a miracle. I think of Einstein's quote, you can live your life as if nothing is a miracle or you can live your life as if everything is a miracle. And I just, I've always, when I heard that, it really resonated in my heart. And so that's, that's it, right? Earth angels are devoted to expecting miracles, manifesting miracles, creating miracles. And during our during the moon cycles, right? Especially the full moon. This is a time where your your the your soul, the divine, 
right through the moon is shining on those parts that aren't feeling miraculous, right? That aren't feeling the miracle and bringing those parts into your heart, allowing those parts to receive love from your angels. And that takes courage, so much courage, right? And that's why this card, that's why these two cards came together. They're very much um, aligned. So courage and bravery means this journey of embracing your pain, okay? We're releasing, denying, suppressing, um, exiling, um, resisting your pain. Remember, uh, specifically, the, the, the question was, how is it that you are embracing your pain? That means that you're having the courage to accept the pain. And whether that pain is physical or emotional, um, whatever layer, right, could be mental and spiritual, right? We can have pain on all of those levels and layers. But this courage to embrace your pain, the courage to cherish your body, what does that mean? What does that word mean to you? What does that, when you hear that, right, the courage to cherish your physical body and, and that sacred relationship between your physical body and your energy body. Um, so that's absolutely beautiful. I love that. One of the other messages I got from this card was, again, this idea of, of coming out of hiding, right? The courage to share more of your light, more of who you are, right? More of your authentic self. And that takes, I mean, it's, it's the courage to be vulnerable, right? The courage to be authentic, the courage to be in what's integrity for you, right? It takes bravery. And um, what I heard was unleash your earth angel medicine that's buried. So there's some part of your medicine that's dormant. There's some part of your medicine that's, that's you know, slowly emerging, right? And each moon cycles, like bringing it more up to be seen, to be loved, to be shared, right? So again, this was like unleash or unearth, right? Your earth angel medicine. So whatever that means for you. And that takes courage, the courage to be vulnerable, the courage to be honest with yourself. Um, and again, I'm hearing the angels say it again, no more hiding, no more hiding your light, no more hiding your gifts, right? It's time to be the miracle bringer, be the miracle manifester. So, you know, and, and how much courage that takes. So really the angels saying they're celebrating, there's this energy of victory as they celebrate your courage to share more of who you are and to share your earth angel medicine, right? It's it, it, of course, beginning with yourself, right? So part of this sharing your earth angel medicine is giving it to yourself and how essential that is that you receive your own medicine. And then from that space, it, it just, it flows out of your heart. It flows out of your aura. And I just absolutely love that. So thank you, angels. Anything else about that? They'll give me more. <laughs> oh yeah, again, this is not for the faint of heart, right? This is a, being an earth angel is about the courage to share, the courage to, like the miracle is, is like your heart, the light in your heart piercing the darkness, right? Piercing the shadow and bringing it to the light, right? That's what we're here to do. Earth angels are here to embody the benevolence of the divine. So really no more hiding the pain, shaming the pain, exiling the pain, denying the pain, but instead embracing the pain, bringing it into your heart so it can be loved and transformed, right? Into the highest vibration available to you. And I'm hearing unconditional joy, unconditional compassion, and unconditional love. So, whoa, major downloads during this full moon. And then we move to the amazing, and how can we have all this courage, right? All this bravery, is to know that we are supremely protected in all directions of time. Green Tara, oh my gosh. If, um, I love Green Tara, oh my OMG. Again, the message is you are protected. Cords are being cut. Those are cords of pain, right? Cords of codependency, cords of not feeling unworthy, not good enough. Anything that's holding your life back, Move beyond limitations. So Green Tara is the ultimate liberator. So of course she's going to come at the end of the year during the full moon. She's like, okay, this pattern that you've been working on, this pattern of pain for me, it's this pressure. It's like shoulds and shouldn'ts. 
um, um, pressure. It's not exactly perfectionism, although that is definitely part of it. But like this pressure to, um, I don't even know, right? The pressure to perform, the pressure to um, show up and do it, the pressure to, um, again, make it make it better, right? I mean, sometimes those things are good, but not when it's causing pain, right? So me, I have this tension in my shoulders and Green Tara is coming in and saying, okay, time to cut those cords. And really it's about learning the lesson. What really, and that's what, that's what she's saying, like you can ask, right? As you embrace this pain, what is the lesson I am learning from this pain and when I'm hearing right away is spiritual freedom right this freedom to I mean oh my gosh the courage it takes to be an angel professional right <laughs> to get on this this um this video and 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 pull angel cards for you and share the messages from my soul and from the angels right and just they're acknowledging that right and the spiritual freedom thank you angels that we have at this time right there's so much spiritual freedom and liberation that Green Tara is bringing us to that next level. So what is that for you? What is your next level of spiritual freedom, spiritual liberation of sharing your authentic self? And of course, her other message is trust, trusting yourself. And so I think of P4, practice number four, receive and trust your intuition. So during the, the full moon, you know, knowing that you're supremely protected, all of your intuitive channels can be open can be aligned to the divine, can be awakened, can be magnetized so that whatever healing needs to happen, you have the tools, you have the protection, you have the support um, from the divine. One of the things you know that she's saying is that you're really in safe to embrace your pain. What I love about Green Tara, there's this beautiful image of her carrying you across the ocean of suffering. So I think of pain and suffering, right? Across the ocean of pain and suffering to the shores of liberation. So again, she brings in this medicine of ultimate liberation, supreme protection. Um, and I just absolutely love that. This is, she's really talking about getting unstuck, right? So if you have this, I know I have for a couple of days, I wasn't cherishing my body soul connection. I ate too much sugar over the holidays. I actually did a 10 day sugar detox. And then I had, then I ate sugar, right? Over the holidays, but I ate way too much sugar for my body. So I really didn't feel good. I had a headache actually writing the, writing that, um, the the blog i was like i don't feel good in my body so of course the angels were like use the practices in your book right so i had to go into this deep state of relaxation and, and really re be able to release what wasn't serving me to receive right my my next level of healing right my next level of my earth angel medicine so that was really awesome another message from this is as you really you know, receive the flawless protection of heaven, of the divine, of the angels, that this is really helps you to love your body more, helps you to cherish your body more. And what I'm hearing so powerfully is you are not alone. You are not doing this alone. We have the archangels, the ascended masters, mother earth, the divine, your soul, your body. You've got so much support available for you to Embrace this pain, right? Embrace this shadow. And, and the other part the angels were saying is like the archangels and the ascended masters are not afraid of your shadow. I, I love that. I mean, I know it sounds like such a simple idea, but the fact that they're not afraid of our pain helps us to be able to embrace that pain and really cherish your body soul connection. And in a way, erasing everything that you did before. I know for me, I was kind of beating myself up. I knew I ate too much sugar. I felt it in my shoulders. It's funny because I actually feel it in my shoulders. Um, my body was almost pain-free after a 10-day sugar detox. And then I went in and put all those sugar toxins back in again. Ah, So I was actually beating myself up about that. And I realized that I needed to use the practices in my book, devote and redevote, and just keep relaxing, releasing, and receiving and getting back to that um, place. Of course, also drinking a lot of water. <laughs> and then we move into the final card in this reading, which I mean, cannot be a better message for the card, for the, um, for the, for the question. 
is surrender to the wisdom of your body. The message is listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. I love this picture and this image. So this is about using, you know, P2, um, practice number two, relax and cherish your body. Using the levels of relaxation to take care of your physical body and to be able to access your energy body. So physical relaxation, right, is relaxing your muscles from your bones and sinking your energetic roots into the earth. Emotional relaxation is making room for all of you, allowing your guardian angels to stretch your aura and making room for all of your emotions, all of your feelings, all of your parts, room for your pain, right? There's space for your pain, right? Instead of denying it, suppressing it, hiding it, exiling it, um, hearing shaming it, you know, putting, pushing it down, you're embracing it, right? You're saying, oh, of course you're here and I'm gonna send you love. I'm gonna let the angels send you love. Um, you know, mental relaxation, which is of course calming your mind, slowing your thoughts through your breath. So that's really where the breath, I mean, the breath comes in through all the layers of and levels of relaxation, but for sure with, um, with mental relaxation and mental relaxation, you know, comes in with the breath awakening your chakras. So there's something about the mental relaxation and this ability to access your chakra channel, which are these portals of angel love, right? These angel receivers um, that, all, that help you receive angel love, but also help you, your chakras also help you release those, the, you know, the toxic energy or, or, or the painful energy that's not serving you. So thank you for that, angels. And then spiritual relaxation, right? Surrender, surrender, <laughs> surrender into the wisdom of your body. Surrender into the arms of your angels. And really another part about being an earth angel is honoring divine order, surrendering to divine order, that everything, I know earlier today, like I said, I was having a headache, I wasn't feeling good, you know, I was almost like, can I, can I, you know, pull it together to do this angel card reading? And the angels were like, you know, reminding me of the mantra, I'm always in the right place at the right time, doing the right thing and really trusting that this is part of my passion, part of how I want to share my medicine and gave me the courage, right? The courage to, to, to share this, even when I wasn't feeling a hundred percent. And I'm so happy that I'm here sharing this with you. And, um, so really, you know, the surrender to the wisdom of your body is really just the gift of your body that you, you already have so many gifts. And one of them is your body. Remember your body, is the divination tool. Your body loves you unconditionally. Your body is forgiving. That was something else I wrote in my blog, that your body is forgiving like your angels, you know, and is devoted to carrying your earth angel medicine. It's devoted to carrying your soul's light. And again, that shadow side is, is denying your body, obsessing about your body, abusing your body, right? It's all the shadow side of that cherishing your body. And and all of that is totally normal. So the angels want to normalize that for you wherever you are on this journey of cherishing your body soul connection, of understanding that your body is the home of your soul and taking it to that next level of awakening and awareness is, is perfect. So um, <clears throat> I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this um, angel card reading expect miracles today during the whole full moon cycle and as we move through the threshold of 2021 have the courage to sh and bravery to shine your light share your earth angel medicine the courage to embrace your pain because you're supremely protected in all ways any cords that aren't serving you are being cut you can trust this protection this support this unconditional love and listen to your body, surrender to the wisdom of your body, cherish your body soul connection. So my dears, um, <clears throat> I'm so excited that I will be teaching Angel Reiki in the new year. It's going to be Saturday, January 23rd. It's the only class I'm teaching the whole entire month of January. It's a training. Um, all the information is on my website. I actually just made an invitation video so you can kind of like, you know, who is this for? You know, who is this um, training for? Who is it not for? I tried to be bold. <laughs> 
And um, all the details of that training are on my website, jillkemperhealing.com, on my YouTube channel, and also on my Facebook page. So I love you. I bless you. Happy, happy full moon. Happy new year. Happy 2021. I can't wait for a year five. I'm going to be talking about that as we um, move into the new year, and I'll see you soon. Namaste and love. Jill.